in this video lecture i will discuss about the paradella says that any change in the magnetic environment of a coil of wire will cause a voltage that is known as electromotive force emf to be induced in the coil no matter how the change is produced the voltage will be generated the change could be produced by changing the magnetic field strength moving a magnet towards or away from the coil moving the coil into or out of the magnetic field rotating the coil relative to the magnetic field etc etc so these are the some possibility by which emf produce into the associated coil so here's an example is given that there are two coils with n is equal to 4 there are four turn in this coil right magnetic field changing is in perpendicular direction like this one right so how much voltage will be generated as a result of this change into this magnetic field which is associated with this coil this d del b a upon del t is equal on uh, 4 tesla meter square per second this b is the magnetic field which is associated with the coil a is the area of the coil and t is the time so this is the rate that can be written as like this d phi b upon dt where phi b is equal to b a b is the magnetic flux induction and a is the area of the current loop so you can see here that if suppose this is a current loop and this is a bar magnet and magnetic field line passes through it like in this way this is the magnetic field lines associated with this coil so an emf basically will produce into the coil that is responsible to flow the current in this coil so we are uh, studying that effect basically so if we keep stationary this uh, bar magnet then there will be no change but if we move it towards the coil or away from the coil then magnetic field which is associated with this coil that will change right and that change we uh, denoted by this way and if further there are number of turns into the coil then we will multiply the number with this rate of the magnetic flux and that will be total emf which will produce in this coil so here del b a upon del t value is given for tesla meter square per second where tesla is the unit of magnetic flux induction and meter square is the area unit and t for second so the voltage generated in this case is minus 16 volt in this case where n is equal to only 2 and magnetic field uh, area time is same so del b a upon del t is equal to same at this rate the magnetic flux is changing so voltage will generate around minus 8 volts this is the first possibility where the coil is at a fixed uh, position and uh, one can change the magnetic field and the intensity the strength the magnitude of the magnetic flux is changing only right so by changing that uh, one can see that uh, change into the voltage if you can change the number obviously there will be change into the volt so here you have seen that uh, number of turns were 4 and here number of turns was 2 so voltage it 8 it is 16 so it is just uh, directly proportional to the number of turns voltage which generated here so a formula a standard formula for it is voltage generated into the coil is directly proportional to the number of turns and the rate of the magnetic flux that is dba upon dt simply 
uh, if we summarize the Faraday law and the above statements that uh, how one can change the magnetic flux that is associated with the coil there are many ways which uh, we had discussed here number one was by changing the magnetic field strength number two moving a magnet toward or away from the coil number three moving the coil into or out of the magnetic field the fourth is rotating the coil relative to the magnetic field so there are some example the second one here this is the bar magnet and bar magnet is moving inward direction this is the direction towards the coil right so magnetic field is associated with this one turn we have used here phi area of the coil is 0 0.002 square meter and minus db upon dt is equal to 0.4 tesla per second if we put all these values into this formula which is known as voltage generated from the faraday so n is equal to you know that is phi del b upon del t is given 0.4 tesla a is this one so the voltage which will generate into this coil will be of the order of minus 0.004 volts right second point is this one here turn a uh, 20 and uh, we are rotating the coil inside the magnetic field here magnetic field is permanent and we are rotating the coil so b is 0 0.2 tesla del a upon del t rate of the rotation per unit area is 0 0.2 meter is square per second n is equal to 22 uh, so we are putting the value minus 20 n this is b and this is del a upon del t value and as a result we are getting the 0 point minus 0 0.8 volt right and the third one now what we are doing we are just moving the coil into and out of the magnetic field this is our magnetic field the strength of that is 0 0.2 tesla this is a coil of uh, n is equal to 3 turns area per unit time is equal to 0 0.2 meter square per second this is the uh, it when we move this coil inside the magnetic field so the voltage generate in uh, side the coil will be equal to minus 3 turn 0 0.2 tesla magnetic field and this is 0 0.2 square meter per second is this rate so as a result uh, the voltage is generated minus 0 0.12 volt so this is the first case you are changing the a magnetic flux or you are changing the number of turns into the coil here one is changing only the magnetic flux uh, through by moving this coil towards and away from the coil and here we are just rotating the coil inside the magnetic field here we are just moving the coil into and out of the magnetic field so these are some example of the faraday law by which one can change the magnetic flux associated with the coil and uh, the related formula that was emf is equal to minus del phi b upon del t here uh, we will discuss this negative sign why we are writing it because it's uh, coming from the lens law so uh, the point related to the formula emf is equal to minus n and d phi b upon dt phi b as you know we are writing here b into a so this is just a simple form but uh, one can write this formula phi b in terms of phi b is equal to this is b dot ds also right open surface integral of the b dot ds here uh, we are using open surface so phi b is equal to open surface integral b dot ds 
and uh, b if is constant that will come out and uh, open surface integral ds will be area so again this is same b a so instead of writing one can write also this form in integral form and here emf is equal to minus n and uh, this d upon dt and this open surface integral uh, b dot ds so this is about just about the formulation and next uh, we will see that here uh, the direction of the current is shown and this potential difference um, which produce the current into the coil right and this was the emf which is responsible for this current when you change the uh, magnetic field associated with this coil so how they uh, can write this is the plus this one is negative so in the next slide we will see it so Faraday law is fundamental relationship which comes from Maxwell equations Maxwell equations actually are the four fundamental laws two in electrostatics and two in magnetism one is uh, known as Gauss law in uh, electrostatics that is the first equation of the Maxwell and uh, denoted by in differential form del dot E is equal to rho upon epsilon naught second is also Gauss law but that is in magnetism and that is denoted by del dot B is equal to zero third is the Faraday law that is written in integral f uh, in uh, differential form so here del cross E is equal to minus del B upon del T this is Faraday law and del cross B is equal to mu naught times J plus mu naught times epsilon naught del E upon del T this is the Ampere's law in a modified term that is this one is the displacement come from current form so these are uh, known as Maxwell equation in differential form so Faraday law is also a fundamental relationship right between the electric field and the current the induced EMF in a coil is equal to the negative of the rate of change of magnetic flux times the number of turns in the coil that is this one EMF according to the Faraday law is equal to minus this minus negative sign is coming from the lens law and is the number of turn into the coil and d phi upon dt is the rate of the magnetic flux so that EMF one can calculate by this formula and now we will discuss into the next slide that uh, what is the Lenz law and how one can denote the plus minus sign and the direction of current so here is the Lenz law when an EMF is generated by a change in magnetic flux according to Faraday law the polarity of the induced EMF it's such that it produces a current whose magnetic field opposes the change which produces you know that uh, when a current flows in a conductor x y i current is flowing a magnetic field develops around it yeah so in the same way when an EMF produced into the coil so that produce the current into the coil and as a result when current flows into the coil it will produce the magnetic field and uh, thumb rule says then if the direction of current is this one the direction of magnetic field will be like this one yeah so if you use here thumb rule here um, but before that I want to make it clear that what Lenz law is saying the first statement the polarity of the induced EMF is such that 
it produced a current right here the polarity came into this coil across this resistance and this polarity is responsible to produce uh, the current polarity means potential difference across the resistance and as a result of that the current starts to flow into the coil right now the current direction is downward so if the current direction is downward and you use right hand thumb rule here you can use right hand thumb rule where thumb represent the current direction and curl of fingers so the direction of magnetic field so this is right hand thumb rule and you apply here so keep your thumb down side and as a result you will see that the magnetic field line seems to enter into this coil here the situation is that you are just putting inside the bar magnet direction is inward here the direction of the bar magnet is outward and the polarity is n right this is n so when you are taking the this pole con uh, consideration then that time there are two different situation once when you keep it inside the coil towards the coil and away from the coil second case is this one so here uh, when you try to keep towards the coil then this end becomes positive and this one negative on the other hand when you are going away from the coil the this one becomes positive and this one negative and about the magnetic field uh, the here current is downward so the magnetic field will be opposite to the applied magnetic field right so this is the direction of the magnetic field which is produced by the current and this current produced by the feradella that is for the result of the change in magnetic flux associated with this coil so this is the meaning it produces a current emf which further produces a magnetic field and that oppose the change which produce it this magnetic field is produced uh, produced by the this one which was applied earlier through this permanent magnet and now current is flowing into the coil and as a result a magnetic field will be produced by that so there are two magnetic fields one magnetic field is that because of the bar magnet and second magnetic field is because of the current which current that uh, pr produce into the coil as a result of an emf so these two magnetic fields are there the second one basically opposes the change right the magnetic field oppose the change which produce it so which magnetic field produce it the first one from the bar magnet that produce the b2 second magnetic field oppose that chain so the induced magnetic field inside any loop of wire always acts to keep the magnetic flux in the loop constant right so here in case of uh, south pole you can see that magnetic flux starts from north pole and ends at the s pole so these are the magnetic field lines associated with the this coil and here we are keeping away from the coil so as a result you see that uh, the direction of the current is this potential difference across the resistance at this end plus higher potential this is lower potential and the obvious the magnetic field direction will be inward towards the opposite in 
uh, in the same direction as of the uh, permanent magnetic field so this is the direction of the magnetic field this is also the direction of the magnetic field so in this case both the directions are same but here in case of so this is the direction of the applied magnetic field and here we are approaching the south pole towards the coil as a result the first phase is to positive and uh, this one is negative across the resistance and the direction of current is upward so this time the magnetic field will be outward that oppose the permanent magnetic field demonstration here this is the voltmeter this is bulb which is connected with this coil the one end this is the permanent magnet you can see here the coil which have three portons the one end and the second end uh, we are saying that the potential difference generate across the ends of the coil when when the magnetic field which is associated with this coil changes so here by taking example of this and this is single coil a voltmeter and this is the bulb volt which reflect that negative or positive so now i'm using the field lines associated with this uh, north pole and here you can see that magnetic field line is start from the north pole and ending at the south pole so when i move the magnet towards the coil point you have notice here in the voltmeter and into the bulb see again now i am moving away from the coil and this time this is positive not towards the negative towards positive towards negative and when n is going away then it's positive when n approaching the coil it's negative and here the magnetic maximum magnetic flux associated at this time so the maximum deflection you can see as a result of it now if i change the polarity now south pole is this one so now you can see the result is totally different when i am approaching uh, to the coil this time this indicating the positive one and when i am going from a weight its reflection is negative and earlier in case of north pole when why i was approaching it it was negative and when i was going away it was positive so this is the difference which we have seen earlier right that is because of the lensela